Okay guys, so we're going to walk through the model now. I'm just uh, going to hold my phone because I'm recording it at the same time. Alright, so I want you to uh, come stand behind me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that might be nice. Yeah, charcoal or something. Okay, so that's the direction of the east. That's the direction of the rising sun. Yeah, that's the direction of new beginnings. That is the direction of the lover. Yeah, the emotional element, uh, the emotional gateway to the lover is sadness. The element of, of that is water. Yeah? If you face that way, you can see there's a river running by there. So that's, that's uh, the direction of the, the lover. Yeah? And the emotion is sadness. This is north. This is the direction of the warrior. This is the direction of the midday sun. The heat of the day, the hardness, the uh, emotional gateway to the warrior is through anger. The warrior uses his anger for clear, decisive action and direction. Yeah. If we go over here, this is the direction of the west, the direction of the setting sun, this is the direction of the king. These archetypes are different from the original ones. We've adjusted them for us here in South Africa, okay? So the direction of the king is west. Oh, that's a horrible oh, sound. Fuck! Oh. And I just swore on film. Okay, good. So that's the direction of the, the king. Yeah, king and queens. Kings and queens come through here. Yeah, and this is the direction of the magician. The, sorry, the emotional gateway to the, to the king is through joy. And the gift is blessing. This is the emotional, uh, this, is the direct, this is heading south. This is the magician. The element of the, the, the south is earth. The element of the, warrior is, uh, of the warrior is fire. And of the king it's air. So we've got water, fire, air and earth. And if you go through there, you can see everything is kind of growing up through Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Mother Earth is what sits beneath all these archetypes that nurtures us and gives us, gives us uh, life. Yeah? And then we're watched over by Father Sky. Yeah? And um, then we go internal. There's a place inside of us. The internal, our uniqueness, our gift on the, our gift that we bring to the earth, yeah, to the planet, to life, yeah, our own uniqueness, and then we've got our ancestors, all those that have gone before us, yeah. So, so all those elements make up this environment, yeah. So that's calling in the energies and the, the center is where you want to be. Yeah? So now we're going to move around the, around the container into what your shadows are. Yeah? So we'll start over there in that corner, in the anger side, that's a masochist. So all of you go to the masochist and where in your life do you swallow your anger? Just think about where in your life you do that. Yeah? Uh, sorry. Are we all supposed to come here? Yeah, everyone swallows their anger at time. Yeah? Or maybe not. I don't know. I know Ati. Ati's been working with Ati. He says, I don't feel angry. I don't feel angry. I don't feel angry. He's been in such denial about his anger. His journey's been to come out here now. A year later, he's going, Yes, I'm pissed off now. Yeah. So he started to get in touch with it in a way that's really kind of helped him in his own leadership in life and fulfilling the role in the workplace. Because the shadow of that is people pleasing. Yeah? Not wanting to upset people. And the, the shadow, the character defect under that is pride. Yeah? Cool. So you're getting an idea. You're getting an understanding. All our emotions are healthy. We need to express them in a healthy way. 
when we're swallowing them or denying them or repressing or whatever we're doing with them, they move into the shadow. Okay, so let's move over to the sadist. Where have you guys gotten in touch with your anger in a fucking joyous way? Huh? Which is seductive and nice and powerful and you... Yeah? Just become aware of it. I gave you the example of using my power as a father and bullying my boys and using anger inappropriately, being violent with that, using the gift of my strength in a destructive, shadowy way for my own kind of pleasure, which healed the wound inside of me. There was a little boy that was bullied. Yeah? Okay, everyone's got these archetypes in them. Yeah? Okay, now let's move over into the, just, uh, the, just a little bit guys, come into your dictator. Where are you dictators in your life? Where do you go, because I fucking say so? Dan, I don't want to do that one, I say so, do it. Huh? Where do you guys get in touch with that? Huh? When are you in a restaurant and somebody, the waiter comes and he doesn't serve you in a way that you feel is... Huh? The food's not right. People don't treat the clients properly in your facility. What comes up there? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Sure. And then how do you express that? Where's the dictator in you? And while you're getting in touch with the dictator, move over to the weakling. That part of you that abdicates responsibility. That's part of you that just kind of lets shit happen. Yeah, where you don't stand up, where you tolerate maybe racism. Yeah, and then you can't be asked to call someone up on it. Yeah. Bank cues. <laughs> yeah. Making sense? Yeah. All right. So now we'll move into the magician into the area of fear and that down there is the trickster, the manipulator. Yeah? Over here it's a court jester. The court jester keeps the king like, relax bro, you think you're that great? The court jester is the wisest person in the kingdom because he keeps the king and the queen down to earth and humble. They're there to serve the people. Not to build a shadow kingdom based on pride and greed and wrath and gluttony and lust and envy, to name a few. Yeah? It's the role of the magician yeah? to advise the king and queen. In the feminine, it's the wise crone. Yeah? So let's move across here to the shadow of the detached manipulator. The detached manipulator. Are you scared? No, I'm fine. Those things are so prehistoric. I always think of pterodactyls when they fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the detached manipulator. Too scared, doesn't get involved, hides, doesn't get seen. You'll find them in group. They just sit there and kind of fly under the radar. Yeah? Making sense? Yeah? Okay, so let's move across here to the impotent lover. This is the impotent lover here. Yeah? So where in your life have you lost your passion? Sure. Hello. <laughs> okay. Where in your life have you lost your potency? Yeah? And then where in your life are you drunk on it? <laughs> so if we move across here back into the shade and back where we started, we come back to the addicted lover and a lot of our clients in the addiction field struggle with anger and to overcompensate in sadness and they end up there. Okay. Should I carry on the lesson? Should we move around? Do you want some questions? Shall I hit pause? Is it still recording? Okay. You got the momentum. All right. All right. So let's move around the model. Who wants to do some coaching around here?